In this part of Easy Ballistics tutorial, we are going to take a look at options or properties of bullets. The first option is uh, whether to draw a debug line or debug trace, which looks, of course, like this. Debug trail time allows you to set the duration of this trail uh, in seconds. Next, we have Actor Tick. This works same as as any other Unreal Engine object. Uh, in other words, it lets you turn on or off the event tick for Blueprint. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, even when this is disabled, the bot itself uh, will continue moving. And next option, uh, again, only applies to blueprint and that is how often the tick will be activated. Uh, next we have world options. These are actually exactly the same as in EasyFM. In other words, you have wind, you have air density and speed of sound and you also have option to add curves that control how these two very with altitude and you can also change world scale or how the scene uh, scale is uh, related to default unreal scale. One new option here is uh, override gravity that allows you to uh, replace the default gravity by custom gravity vector. Next option is safe launch. This is in case the bullet is spawned inside the actor, it will not collide with it uh, until it travels this distance. So basically to prevent yourself from shooting yourself in the foot. However, if the bullet bounces, uh, it will become dangerous to launching actor regardless of this distance. Next option uh, called shotgun is self-explanatory. It will allow you to fire multiple projectiles with single shot. You can, of course, set the number of submunitions, uh, the spread and the velocity spread, or how much the fastest projectile will be faster than the slowest one. Flight settings control how the bullet will behave in the air. You can set minimum and maximum muzzle velocity. If those two numbers are different for each shot, uh, initial velocity will be randomly selected in uh, between those two values. Next we have spread, which is self-explanatory. The higher the number, the less accurate your weapon will become. Just uh, like with shot spread, uh, this number is in radians. In other words, if you set it to, well, let's say, 0 0.01 at uh, 100 meters, uh, it will be spread by 1 meter. Next option is mass of the projectile. This is in kilograms and it controls multiple things from from strength of the impact when it uh, hits something to how much it uh, is affected by wind and by air resistance and also the amount of recoil it produces if it's fired from a physical object. Next option is diameter. Now, Easy Ballistics uh, approximates uh, each projectile as a single point or single line, so this value doesn't really affect collisions at all. However, it controls the amount of air resistance that will affect the projectile. Form factor acts as a multiplier for air resistance. And finally, you have option to set mag drag curve. And uh, this would be probably a bit too complex to explain in this tutorial, so I'll leave a link in an annotation. But a short explanation is that it will allow you to change the amount of drag 
based on um, speed of the bullet uh, as it relates to speed of sound uh, actually rather similar to how it works in EZFM. Next we have uh, options to control how the bullets will respond to impacting other objects. However, I'm going to skip those for now because they are complex enough to warrant a separate separate tutorial as does replication and finally we have simulation options here these are more uh, technical technical options uh, first of all the first step immediately we'll make the simulation run the first uh, first step of uh, the bot's path uh, at the same moment as it's launched in other words, uh, first few meters of its flight will it will act as if it was hit scan, and fixed step will allow you to run the board simulation at a different frame rate uh, than the rest of the game. Uh, usually, this isn't really needed. However, if you want uh, very consistent behavior regardless of frame rate even at cost of it being less smooth you can turn this on and the uh, option under that is the length of the step uh, in other words uh, how many steps it uh, will do per second so 0 0.1 is 10 0 0.01 would be a uh, hundred steps per second. Max traces per step controls uh, how many times the bullet is allowed to penetrate or bounce of uh, material per single simulation step. Uh, this is to prevent it from getting stuck in an infinite loop and crashing the game. I'll just leave it to default and uh, speaking of crashing the game i would recommend setting the initial lifespan for each bullet uh, because um, unless it um, impacts something by default uh, easy ballistics bullet never despawn so setting it to something like i don't know 60 seconds will prevent them from leaving the level and going on forever and unnecessarily slowing down the game even though they have no chance of hitting anything ever. In the next part we are going to take a look at those impact options and how to vary those based on what material that impacted.